Okay, today I will be filming how to change a ballast out and how to test it. Um, just a quick video on how to do that. Um, my light went out and new bulbs didn't fix it. Also, it was always making a uh, humming sound. So, here it is. I'll be right back. Okay, so basically what you have, once uh, you take this uh, protective cover off, it's just protective cover, it just pops off very easy. You'll see um, a protective metal plate that's covering the wires and the ballast. Um, these are the ends where the fluorescent tubes go in. They look all right. Uh, what you wanna check to see if there's anything burnt up, any burnt wires, um, anything that looks out of the ordinary, these look good. So, I will show you how to take this metal plate off. Basically, you can see it's just uh, attached by just metal tabs. If you squeeze this metal plate together, it'll pop out. And right there, you have your ballast. Um, sometimes these ballasts will leak oil. Um, obviously if that does it's it's a bad one um, just this one was making a funny sound the lights went out I put new bulbs in and didn't work um, usually means bad ballast but I'm gonna go ahead and test this out with a multimeter and I'll show you how to do that and it's very simple and this is a easy job hey guys I'm just gonna do a quick video on how to test the ballast in a uh, fluorescent light uh, to see if it's uh, your ballast or some other issue. Um, you want to take your uh, multimeter and set it to ohms. Um, set it about the 1000, 2000 range. Mine has a 2000 so I'll just set it there. You want to set your uh, one of your leads on the white wire. That's the power coming into the ballast. And then you take your other lead and just simply, now if you see the gauge you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to touch the yellow uh, wire that's going to one end of the your uh, tubes that seems okay um, check the other uh, wire yellow okay that seems all right um, what you're looking for is any uh, resistance uh, ohms is the resistance measurement that we're looking at so right now I'm going to check um, the blue line um, that looks okay um, nothing going on there the other blue wire now the red one has a problem. You can see the uh, multimeter showing the resistance. Uh, it's bouncing all over the place. But and let me check the other red one here. And that one is too. So this ballast is bad and that's how uh, you know if you need a new one. Uh, again, if you test uh, a line and you see uh, no change or um, uh, one there that's indicating an open line um, but once you go to the uh, one that has resistance uh, you can obviously on the multimeter um, that that one is bad and um, telltale sign that you'll you'll you need a new ballast here thanks all right so basically uh, there's the new ballast uh, basically uh, here's the old one it was right over there um, I took that out tested it and uh, it was bad the uh, ohms resistance uh, were not uh, good and um, you can just tell looking at it side by side it's just looks like a different technology this one's made in China this one is a nice GE um, ballast so um, basically cut the wires out match all the wires with the new ballast uh, ye yellow to yellow red to red blue to blue white to white black to black uh, very easy um, I would say also that if you're changing out your uh, ballast, you might as well put LED bulbs in. You'll save some electricity and um, and they just last better in the long run. And there you go, lights back on. It's good to go.